A friendship should add great things to your life, trust, companionship, and shared experiences, for example. But it will also cost you something, time, energy, and commitment. Even the most easygoing friendship requires some effort and investment. Given the energy involved, it leads to the question, should all BFs, best friends, also be BFFs, best friends forever? Ideally, I think so. That depends on how life and circumstances go. Few things on this earth will last forever. But the second F in this title has to do more with the reality that the best friends are open-ended about time and do not come with an expiration date. If we know that we'll be moving to another town in a year, it will be hard to deeply engage with someone who lives there, though it's possible. So, as you explore and engage in your relationships, you are most likely operating as though you will be BFFs. Friends. Let's understand our terms a bit here. A friend once told me, I know so many people who make a BF out of someone they've known for a week, and there's something weird about that. While such a move is usually made due to a lack of information or a crisis or desperation, it is not how we are to develop friendships. We are to guard our hearts, Proverbs 4.23, and spend time and energy making sure anyone we let in our lives and hearts really deserves to have a place there. A BF is a kind of friend, so it's important to understand the F part of the term. Friend is an extremely popular and broad word. When you read the checkout stand magazines or Google the word, it is a hard concept to pin down. Most of the descriptions are either very general or very anecdotal. Someone who shares life with you. A person who accepts you as you are. An individual you can say anything to and be anything with. Someone you look forward to sitting down with and talking about what you've been up to, as well as your joys and your struggles. These are descriptive, but they don't identify the essence of friendship in a way that presents clear lines about what it is and isn't. After spending time researching this topic, I've come to the conclusion that at the DNA level, a friendship must have three elements, knowing, liking, and presence. These seem simple, but they are the three key components that are universal in friendships, from neighbors to church relationships to work connections. Knowing. You have objective information and personal experience with the person. You know where they live, their marital and parental status, what they do for work, their hobbies, their faith. On a personal level, you may know their history, their likes and dislikes, and their dreams and hurts. Knowing provides the foundation of whether or not this relationship will be a friendship and how deep it can go. And if what you know is scary or toxic, you need that information as well. Liking. You want to spend time with each other. You are drawn to each other's presence. When life happens, for good or for bad, you want them to know about it, and you want to know about their life. You don't have to make yourself call or visit because you should or because they are good for you. It's about a want to, not a have to. The liking aspect also helps when you have conflicts or problems in the relationship. It serves as an anesthetic to get over rough patches. And if you don't like someone, it is hard to call your relationship a friendship. A duty or a professional acquaintance or some sort of obligation, maybe, but not a friendship. Presence. Friends spend time together. That's how knowing and liking happen. It may be a phone call, a lunch, an evening, a bike ride, a vacation. But time together is essential. The more time together between two good people, the better the relationship. There is a mutual commitment to be with each other, and you gladly pay the price for its benefits. Sometimes people move away and just don't see each other much. That doesn't mean they aren't friends, just that it's harder. But if the time was put in prior to the move, like making many deposits in an investment account, it's much easier to stay connected. Think of your BFs now. You probably can recognize the presence of those three components in different amounts, but you have to have all three. They are the basics that define a friendship and also a best friendship.